Did you know about geographically important places like mountains, rivers and volcanoes? And did you aware of the important things in the countries? So guess the answers to these geography questions. Stay with us. Question number 1. What country has the longest coastline in the world? The answer is Canada. Canada has the longest total coastline among all of the countries of the world. The country's 202,080 km long coastline fronts on the Pacific Ocean to the west, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, and the Arctic Ocean to the north. Most of the Canadian provinces and territories, with the exception of Alberta and Saskatchewan, have their own respective coastlines. The coastline of the country exhibits varied landscapes across different parts of the country, and most shoreline types are present around the Canadian coastlines. With the exception of such tropical and subtropical ecosystems as mangrove swamps and coral reefs. Question number two. What is the highest peak in Africa? The answer is Mount Kilimanjaro. Located in Tanzania, Mount Kilimanjaro is Africa's tallest mountain at about 5,895 meters. It is the largest freestanding mountain rise in the world, meaning it is not part of a mountain range. Also called a stratovolcano, Kilimanjaro is made up of three cones, Kibo, Mwenzi, and Shira. Kibo is the summit of the mountain and the tallest of the three volcanic formations. While Mwenzi and Shira are extinct, Kibo is dormant and could possibly erupt again. Scientists estimate that the last time it erupted was 360,000 years ago. The highest point on Kibo's crater rim is called Uhuru, the Swahili word for freedom. The mountain is also known for its snow-capped peak. However, scientists warn that the snow might disappear within the next 20 years or so. Question number 3. What is the longest river in the UK? The answer is River Severn. The River Severn is the United Kingdom's longest river at 220 miles long. The river begins its life in 2,000-foot high peak bogs situated in the Cambrian Mountains in the Welsh county of Ceredigion at a place called Plinlimon near Lanidlos, before flowing through the four counties of Powys, Shropshire, Gloucestershire and Worcestershire out to its estuary on the Bristol Channel and then onto the Celtic Sea and finally into the Atlantic Ocean. Question how many boroughs are there in New York City? The answer is five boroughs. New York is composed of five boroughs, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Staten Island. Each borough is part of five of New York's counties. Manhattan is part of the County of New York, Brooklyn is part of the County of Kings, Queens, the Bronx is part of the Bronx County and Staten Island. Until 1898, when these counties were joined, the city of New York was only formed by Manhattan. Although each borough has a president, their role is very limited since the management is highly centralized by the mayor of New York. So as not to focus attention on Manhattan in politics they often refer to New York as the five boroughs. Question number 5. What is the currency of Sweden? The answer is Swedish krona. The Swedish krona has been the currency of Sweden since 1873. It is issued by the Swedish central bank, Sveriges Riksbank. The symbol of the currency is KR. One krona is subdivided into 100 ura. In English, the currency is sometimes referred to as the Swedish crown.
Krona means crown in Swedish. Coins currently in circulation are 1 krona, and 5 and 10 krona. Banknotes are in denominations of 20, 50, 100, and 500 krona. Question number 6. In which country was the fort where Dracula lived? The answer is Romania. Brands Castle, popularly known as Dracula's Castle, has been a place of interest for people across the world. After all, this is where the infamous Count Dracula used to reside. Located in the historic region of Transylvania in Romania, this spectacular castle has a long history to its credit. Dracula as we all know is the lead character of Bram Stoker's novel of the same name. The character of Dracula has been inspired by Vlad Tepes, a Wallachian ruler who lived in the castle, but only spent two months here. Question number seven. In which country is the only active volcano in South Asia located? The answer is India. Barren Island is an island located in the Andaman Sea. It is the only confirmed active volcano in South Asia. Along with the rest of the Andaman Islands, it is a part of the Indian Union territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and lies about 138 kilometers northeast of the territory's capital, Port Blair. Barren Island houses the only active volcano in India. Question number 8. In which Indian city is the Taj Mahal located? The answer is City of Agra. The Taj Mahal is an ivory-white marble mausoleum on the south bank of the Yamuna River in the Indian city of Agra. It was commissioned in 1632 by the Mughal Emperor, Shah Jahan, to house the tomb of his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The tomb is the centerpiece of a 17-hectare complex, which includes a mosque and a guest house, and is set in formal gardens bounded on three sides by a crenellated wall. Question number 9. In which country is the Pisa Tower located? The answer is Italy. Pisa is located in Italy. As a country, Italy is probably one of the richest in history and heritage left from the past, in form of monuments, traditions, progress. Around the year 1000 Pisa was one of the biggest and stronger cities in Italy. It was one of the four major maritime republics in Italy, dominating the entire Mediterranean Sea. The tower is a heritage of that commercial power and prosperity. Question number 10. What is the capital of Saudi Arabia? The answer is Riyadh. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the Arabian Peninsula. It occupies an area about the size of the United States east of the Mississippi River. Saudi Arabia's population is 27 million, including 8.4 million foreign residents, and its capital city is Riyadh. Saudi Arabia's geography is diverse, with forests, grasslands, mountain ranges and deserts. The climate varies from region to region. Temperatures can reach over 110 degrees Fahrenheit in the desert in the summer, while in the winter temperatures in the north and central parts of the country can drop below freezing. Saudi Arabia gets very little rain, only about 4 inches a year on average. Question 